Rollins has been here for nearly 65 years now. I've only been here for seven of them. It's now in its final stages of being here and about to be knocked down. Follow me. Look, this is six one block. Already fallen to pieces. Scummy. Just look at this. There used to be fences all along here. Now it's got so old they've all just been broken down. Hello, I'm Samuel Mayton and I'm a part of Free Rivers Academy Sixth Form. Um, what am I looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to like the new classrooms because the classrooms we've got now are quite like dirty and used because they've been here for quite a while now. And all new equipment, it'll be quite good. It'll just make overall lessons more productive. <laughs> So when I started working here, which was 16 years ago, we needed a new building then. Um, I used to teach in what was called D block, um, and it was so cold in there that we used to teach in our coats and the kids used to keep their coats on. Um, sometimes we didn't have electricity. Um, it was ridiculous. The windows didn't close properly. Kids used to jump in and out of the windows and just go and disappear over the field. Um, that was bad enough, but then you come into the main block and things like the ceilings leak, um, you can't shut the windows, you can't lock the doors, nothing works anymore. So one of the things I was a little bit concerned about when I, uh, I realised was that there's some, there's, uh, I think the remnants of as asbestos in some of the buildings, um, but I, did a, I, I made sure we checked that out and uh, it's not unsafe, but I imagine it's going to be a bit of a nightmare for the builders to take apart because they'll have to, they'll have to be careful with it, they'll have to get the right permissions and all the rest of it. But, so yeah, I think there's some asbestos in the roof of one of the huts. involved in how the classrooms were going to be set out and things and that was, um, was really interesting actually because I'd never considered how a classroom is designed. Um, they do things like allocate a certain um, floor area per student that you would expect to have in the class and then you have to fit the desks into that on the, um, on the plan. Uh, and then if you're considering where you're going to put your computers in, you have to think about things like where are you going to plug them in and can you run the cables under the floor or do they have to go across the ceiling or around the walls and for me it was a new way of looking at a building. I'd never thought about the practicalities of you know just plugging in a computer and getting 30 students into a room. from the front entrance and came round, the sixth form is up on the first and the second floor. Well, most of these rooms now, um, most of the lights are on, most of what's happening down here is furniture is starting to go in next week and a lot of these. Obviously starting to pick up different colours and stuff that, that are around us. Um, well, as you can see, Sam, the, uh, the building is nearing completion now. Um, all of the external cladding is now complete and the building's uh, really taking shape now. Um, if you turn around this way slightly you'll see the, um, you'll see the roof which has been a, mu a fairly major challenge on the building. Uh, there's uh, lots of different angles so it's been quite challenging building that but uh, that looks really good now. Um, we're finishing off now with the uh, building services in the building so we're, we're at the stage now where we're commissioning the heating system. Um, 
we shall be uh, completing all the electrical testing and the data testing so that when the school moves in all of the IT is working and the building's nice and warm. Uh, the kitchen is just about complete in there now so um, they'll be gearing up to get that ready for, uh, for the school dinners. Um, and uh, external landscaping is, uh, is ongoing, as you can see over there. Um, we've got planting going on. Um, we're getting the external lighting uh, completed now. Um, around the other side of the building there's some quite nice feature lighting, which will look very impressive from the, uh, from the railway line. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming along really nicely and um, we're hoping that uh, we'll be able to hand, hand a, a completed building over to the school.